What's your baseball philosophy? What got you so far? Uh, well, I guess I just start, you know, with my dad when I was younger. Um, you know, he always wanted the best for me. So, you know, he pushed me really hard when I was younger. Uh, you know, always wanted the best for me. Um, you know, I had an older brother. So he kind of, you know, showed me the, you know, the more, you know, advanced things, you know, when I was younger growing up. And it just, you know, took to it, you know, pretty well. And it just, you know, hard work, you know, every single day, you know, basically no days off ever since I was a little kid. And, you know, now I'm just, you know, got to where I am today. Now, do you put hitters, do you pitch to their weakness or to your strengths? Uh, I'd say you do both. Um, you know what the hitter's weaknesses are, but you also know your strengths. So you're not going not gonna to shy away from your strengths. So if your strengths, you know, align up with the hitter's weaknesses, then, you know, it's just, you know, it's a perfect scenario. But I wouldn't go away from my strength, you know, if it was a hitter's strength as well. You were a first-round pick? Or ninth-round pick. Ninth round. When they talk about first-round picks, does it, they obviously have a lot of talent. But once they get in organizations, sometimes they get passed up by guys in the lower rounds. Why does that happen? I mean, just it could be you know maybe a younger guy playing against you know maybe lesser talent, maybe a high school guy playing you know a three A level, and then you get you know drafted and you you know everyone is just going to be just as good once you, you know you get drafted, and it, I guess it just becomes you know work that big becomes a big factor and just you know how bad you want it and, you know what kind of work you want to put in. Now, in spring training, every team brings in more guys to compete with you at the major league spot. When you walk in, there's a ton of pitchers standing around. How do you approach that? Uh, I mean, just the same way. Um, I mean, you don't change a thing. You don't. Um, you don't worry about what other guys are doing. It's just you know, you worry about what you can do, what you can do each day to get better, and you know, you just let um, you know let your daily things you know take care of themselves, and you know, hopefully, end up in a roster spot. Now, baseball has ups and downs. There's injuries, and you're up and down in the organization. There's failure. Has there been a time that you wanted to give up baseball? Uh, give up? No. Um, I don't know what I'd do if I – it would be a sad day if I say I wanted to give up. But, I mean, there's been some times where, you know, I hated the game. Um, but, I mean, that's just part of it. I mean, this, day, this game is, you know, it's kind of when it rains, it pours. And But, I mean, I think that, you know, that's going to make you a better ball player, you know. The failure is what you know makes you better because you never understand the good times unless you went through the bad times. How did you get through it? What got you through? Uh, I mean, support, teammates, coaches. Um, you know, having someone you know talk to. You know, maybe a player has been through what I'm struggling with now in the past, and you pull them to the side, talk to them. You know, get some advice, especially now that you're in AAA and you know, you know, spring training, being around a bunch of major leaguers. You know, that they have great advice they can throw your way and. You know, just take advantage of the you know tools that are around you. What was it about professional baseball that you learned the hard way that nobody told you about before you started? Uh, I mean, I guess it's just I mean how good everyone is. Because um, I mean, when you're growing up, I mean, you know, you're always going to be you know at a higher tier than normal. And then once you're drafted, I mean, everyone is good, and there's no you know, it's just like the number one overall. Is you can, you can just tell they're going to fly through it, but. You know, no one told me just how good every single player, you know, you know, one through nine in the lineup is going to be and just how hard and, like, how tough you really have to grind it out day in and day out. Now, once you sign a professional contract, you're a professional baseball player, obviously. But was there a time before that when you realized that you were going to play professional baseball? Um, honestly, I didn't, I didn't think too much about it um, just because you never know what could happen. You know, I always thought in the back of my mind it could happen. And, but I mean, the day that they did call, I mean, that's when it just became the reality and it really sunk in that, you know, you're a big league player now. You read the sports pages, scouting reports, where Baseball America ranks you and things like that? No, I don't, we really don't try to get too far into that, so. Mom and dad call you and say, hey, guess what I read about you? Um, yeah, mom and dad will do it. When I was in the lower levels, they'll call and they, hey, there's a really cool article that came out about you. You know, if you want to read it, here's where it is, all that stuff. But I, I would never go out there and search for it so how do you have the fans people yelling and screaming at you uh, you get used to it um, it's just kind of a normal thing you know when you're on the road you're going to get heckled people are going to yell at you and it's just you know fans you know just fans having a good time it's not, I mean, it's not a big deal how about the umpires especially the pitcher how do you handle the umpires <clears throat> um, I mean you just kind of I mean 
umpires have their own, you know, reputation. You know, each, you know, you know, an umpire who will put up with more stuff than other other umps will. And I mean, it's just like you know, getting to know other players on the team. You know, you start to learn other umpires. Uh, you'll know, like one umpire likes, you know, giving the high ball. Another one will give you, you know, a little bit more on the corner. It's just a learning process, being around them more and more. What if a high school uh, baseball player asked you, "How do I get there?" What would you tell them? Um, I would just, I would tell them, you know, it's all with the hard work. Um, because I mean, everyone's good, but it just depends on you know what kind of hard work you want to put in, and you know, you just can't get by on how good you are today. You gotta get better each day.